For sure. Let's check today's weather now with Stevie Jacobs, who joins us again from beautiful Bowen in Queensland. Hey, Steve. Good morning to you, G. Yeah, we've got some of the most beautiful beaches in the world in Australia, and when you make it into the list of the top 11, you know that you've got to be a pretty special beach, and one of them is right here in Bowen. This is called Horseshoe Bay. It's a tiny little half-moon-shaped bay, and it's flanked by these amazing huge granite boulders on either side, a little bit like a beach in the Seychelles. It really is quite stunning. You've got caravan parks, hotels, cafes on the water here, and it really is a spectacular place where you can go straight out of the water and snorkel on the reef. Now, there's another project which is happening here where they're about to submerge some local art out onto the reef, and it's to raise awareness of what's going on in the Whit Sundays. We'll talk about that in a moment. Let's see what's happening at your place with the weather today. A few showers about in Cairns. We've got a top of 29 degrees. Townsville, mostly sunny and 30 degrees today. Showers on the way for the Sunshine Coast and the Gold Coast, both 26, and Brisbane on 27 degrees. In Sydney and Canberra, blue Blue skies on the way and both heading to tops of 26 degrees. Melbourne partly cloudy, a lot cooler today, 18, but will warm up over the Easter weekend. Hobart showers clearing in 17 and Adelaide on the way to some very hot weather for Easter. We'll talk about that later, but 23 degrees today. Perth mostly sunny and 24. Alice Springs and Darwin will see blue skies today. We've got Nathan with us again from the Whitsunday Reef Recovery Project talking about this uh, amazing art project also. So you've teamed up with some of the local artists who are creating art that's going to be submerged onto the seabed in the Sundays. Why? We're trying to raise awareness about the health of the reef and trying to uh, instill a bit of recovery in the local tourism industry. So providing these new attractions that will go underwater, they won't disturb the natural landscape above the, the sea line and people will go underwater and say, why are these here? And then we can talk about the health of the reef, the challenges that it's facing and the fact that we need to do more as a humanity to try and protect this beautiful natural resource. And the sculptures themselves represent creatures on the reef? So it's a marine theme and a lot of them have a very local uh, relevance to them. So we're putting one in here at Horseshoe Bay in Bowen that's got uh, local indigenous species made by an indigenous artist from uh, Brisbane and he's teamed up with local indigenous community to uh, design and sculpt these pieces and it's going to be the one here is actually an emergent piece that's just going to be off the rocks here in Horseshoe Bay. All right this is obviously part of a, a bigger problem with climate change so what can people do out there to help the reef? Well this is hopefully raising awareness about the threats and pressures facing the Great Barrier Reef and we hope that it provides people with the impetus to think about what they can do when they go home so it's all those little things about turning off lights, buying electric cars, voting for politicians and governments that are going to make the difficult decisions to look at green energies and ways that we can move from this carb the carbon emissions that we're emitting. I know Australia is a small contributor, but we need to be a world leader. And if we want to be a world leader, we need to take a stand. All right, Nathan, thank you very much. There are some incredible people up here who are taking a stand to save the reef. We've kind of got the Aquaman of the Great <laughs> Barrier Reef here, and they're doing a great job. Well done, mate. Cheers, Georgie. thank you. Yeah, really important messaging. Thank you very much for that, Stevie. All right, I reckon it's movie day, Tom. Well, who should we talk to? I know the man. <laughs>